Hello guys, the Obsidian Horse here, and today we are looking at how to build a B25J Mitchell, the North American. North America is in, <clears throat> as in the company. This is the same plane company that built the P51D Mustang. This build that we're building features the authentic World War II medium bomber and ground attacker, the B25 Mitchell. We have our glass uh, area up in the front with, with the nose gun. Uh, two side guns on either side featured under the cockpits. One engine on either wing. In the back we have our staggered waist positions with waist guns. And in the very back of the aircraft, a tail gun. This is a pretty easy build, does not require that many blocks, and shouldn't take that long. Another video should be coming out after this about how to convert this B-25 into a ground attacker or maybe the or the PBJ patrol bomber then J which stood for North American it was the naval version of this where the glass canopy in the front was completely sealed off and instead replaced with a whole lot of machine guns and a cannon so yeah let's la let's launch into seeing what blocks are going to be needing so blocks for this are not that much we need green stained clay cobblestone slab stone stairs glass a fence gate buttons black wool Another brick fence is kind of hard, hard to see through the glass pane and fence. The texture pack may look a little bit foreign to you, or if you're an MBZ player, it'll look very, uh, you'll recognize it easy, easily. It is uh, the Naval Battlezone texture pack. I do not believe there is a download for it yet set up by the server, but there is a video on my channel on how to install this texture pack. Just log into the server navalbattlezone.com colon 8080 and it should automatically download. So yeah, let's start with the build. First thing we're going to do is place a piece of back wool, black wool down. On either side of that, place a button. On top of that, place another brick fence. In front of that, place one slab. And then on top of that, place the glass there and the glass in front. On either side of these glass, put two, a pane on each one, so it's a total of two panes. In the very front, put our nose gun and a slab on top of the first block. On top of the second, we're going to place yet another glass block and two more panes going backwards with another glass block behind that. Then we're going to place green stained clay here, here, and then go two up on either side of the green stained clay. So our final nose position should look like this. Get it, and then under each of these, we're going to place a slab. Then between these two, we're going to place a cobblestone slab. Behind that, place a glass block, and then on either side of that, do two going back. Our standard uh, cockpit design, and this build may remind you, uh, if you've watched my other videos, of my B24D uh, tutorial, because this is kind of just like a mini version of a B24. I kind of put B24 is to my favorite. So between these, we're going to place glass pane. So kind of rounding off our cockpit. And on top of that, three slabs going back. After the third slab, place uh, our top gun. And then do some slabs after that. We'll walk into that later. Let me set it today. So after this block right here, we're going to go nine slabs back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the ninth one, we're going to go out three to either side. So go two more back and then one, two, three to either side. One, two, three. You can see we're building this bot back little tail part right here. After we've gone three out to either side, we're going to work on our vertical sta stabilizers. I'm going to place two green stain clay there, one there, one there, making that pattern. And then do a stair, filling in each of those spots finishing it. I'll repeat it again on this side for you. You're going to go one, two, one there, one there, creating that pattern, and then a stair filling up the corners. So in total, it's six blocks like that, but looks different because of the stairs. Now that we've completed that, we can work on our final nose posi tail position. We're doing, uh, turning this block right here into a stair. So let's do that. Uh, let's see how we're going to place this, like that. See, it's that stair right there, leading back to the... And then after that, two glass panes. 
on either side of the first one, place slabs, leave the second one blank. Then under this, oops, uh, place green stained clay surrounding that back glass. And on the very back of the aircraft, place our fence gate. So this is our tail gun. Under that position, we can do stair, stair, stair. And then in the middle of all this, green stained clay. Under that green stained clay, we go two slabs. Under that two slabs, go three slabs. So. Then under those three slabs, go one slab. And under that one, goes. Never mind. Let me check something. Never mind. This three is supposed to be four. And then under that, we get this slab, which we can bring all the way back. So that's a side view for you guys of what our B25 is kind of an outline. We can bring green stained clay from behind the cockpit all the way back to the very rear of the aircraft. We can do the same on this side. We'll punch out holes for our waste guns later. You can complete this pattern all the way back and forth on either side. Let's hop around to the other side over here. And cover that. And so our sides will look like so. Now we're going to work on the bottom part. We're going to bring our green stained clay as far back and stop right here. No, no, we actually go, we stop right here. Yeah, so we go like this and then see where this starts going up to these four. We're going to cover up the first one and then stop. And then above that we're going to do three slabs and leave it. So just put it on this side, one, two, three slabs, and then we can bring our green stained clay all the way back to the front. So that is the side of our B-25J Mitchell. Up here we can place finish our top gun by bringing the trapdoor and opening it up to create those two guns. I built these two aircraft too close together. Let me move them so I can put some wings. There we go, our B-25s have been moved, so they are farther apart. Just making sure everything lines up still. Let's look. There's this tail position. Does line up with that, I think. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. We're one block forward. But whatever. So right now we can work on our uh, machine guns that go next to the cockpit. So our first one is level with the first block of the cockpit. And it goes right here. And then next to that we do glass and then top. So at the end, the two trap doors should, uh, two fence gates should be like that. Repeat the process on this side, and boom, boom, and then behind each of these, do a stair. Back to this side, stair, stair, and behind each stair, do a slab on the top hip box of the stair. So if it was on the bottom, it'd look like that, and when we continue, if it gets on the top, it continues. And those are our side guns. I know they're a little bit over large, but you kind of have to for Minecraft. And now we're going to work on our wings. So the wing pattern is pretty simple. Starting right here under the top gun, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Go one block in and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the total length of our wing. And we can fill this area in, going one block back there, not three, just two, one block back. So at the end our wings should look like this right now. Then we're going to go bring one block all the way up and end it one block short of that too. We're going to bring another block up and end it one block short of that one. So our final wing shape should resemble that. And now just repeat this on the other side, and I'll catch you then. So now that we've done our wings on both sides, we can take and build in our engines. So what we're going to do, as you can see, we're going to go three out, and then assemble our propeller and our section. So we go one, two, three, and build it right there. So see how that's placed? Let's see it on this side. Yep. And now in front of this, on each one, you can place a button. And then, I'm just going to do this on one wing, you guys can repeat it on the other. Fence on the top and bottom. Glass blocks here so we can place our fence gates. And after we've done that, we can take cobblestone slabs going 1, 2, 3, 4. 
behind that. Under that we can place one cobblestone slab and then stained clay going one block past. On top of that one block you can place a slab and then behind that one, yeah, top of the one block place slab. Then right here we're going to place one, two, three. One, two, three. And on the second block we're going to place another brick fence and our landing gear. Now just repeat this engine on the other side and I will. Well, first, let me just make an edit to this. I did this on a, another B25 I've built before. On this back one, surround the sides of this with trapdoors. And you can't get the bottom, but it looks cool. And the back. It's a cool addition. So now add it. Now let's do this on our other, other side. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, bring our stained clay all the way back, one past. Cobblestone slab on top. Our trap doors all the way around. I'm, just, I'm doing this kind of fast just to show how I do it. Three slabs. Three slabs. Another brick fence. Black wool, button, button. And then the front. Button, fence, fence. Grab our fence gate. Fence gate. Fence gate. So now this is almost the entire B25 already. All we need to put in is our waste gun emplacements. So the first one's going to go right here. We're going to go one block out and place it. And now on the other side, we're going to go one block back from that and place that one. So they're in a staggered position, like so, because if they weren't like that, wouldn't the tail gunners, while they're like, shooting and stuff, their backs would be hitting. The United States always did that where their backs would be hitting each other and they couldn't aim properly. And then with the B-25 and the B-24 especially is where they started doing that. And the first couple of B-17s didn't have that and then they started that. So yeah, just some quick history right there. And actually, this is it. Except boom. <laughs> On how to build a B-25 J. Mitchell. Hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, comment, and hi Peggy. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And a PBJ video on how to convert this to a ground attacker will be coming out soon. I will see you all later, and I will catch you in the next one.